Hi, beautiful. Today's video, I am actually very nervous about. If you haven't already seen Hiram's video of him coloring his own hair, I taught Hiram how to color his own hair and he followed my instructions. Now I have yet to see what his hair came out like. So hopefully Hiram followed my directions well. We're about to watch and see how it all went down. I'm excited slash nervous. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, and of course, this video is by Hiram. If you guys don't know who he is, well, go check him out because he is a skincare god and he's amazing and the kindest person I know. So definitely make sure you guys check out his channel. This video is called Brad Mondo Made Me Dye My Hair. You know what, Hiram? It's only half true. No, honestly, I texted him one day and I was like, do you want to do something to your hair? Because I think I have a video idea. And he was like, honestly, yeah, let's do it. And I was like, okay, perfect. Hi, beautiful. And aloha, everyone. Hi, beautiful. I love that. This video is a collaboration with the one and the only Brad Mondo. <laughs> Back at it again. Yes. In today's video, I'm going to be dyeing my hair myself. Something I've never done before. <sighs> Come as a shock. <laughs> you can do this. I don't know a single fucking thing about how to dye hair. The only things I've ever learned are from Brad Mondo's video. And I was like, okay, you know what? My hair's grown out. It's almost done. Time to rock some natural colors. This will be cool. I'm thinking maybe highlight, maybe a little bit of black. And when I sent him the inspiration, <laughs> he was just like, um, that's so boring. We're gonna do pink and purple. And I was like, oh my God, I don't know if I'm good enough to do that. And after negotiating, we both decided that I'm going to dye my hair purple. Wow, exposing me, Ira. Yeah, no, he did send pictures of like highlighted brown hair and I was like, nobody wants to see you do that. Give the fans what they want, Hiram. A purple head of hair. The brown with the blonde is cute. You know, I, I rock it every day of my life, but we need something more fun than that. Oh, I'm so nervous. This is gonna be so much fun. Oh. This is going to be so much work. I should have warned him of that before we went along with this, <laughs> but this is gonna be like hours of work that he has to put in for this video. Sorry, Hiram. So joining me today is my assistant, Brianna. Say okay, hair. So she's gonna be helping. Whoa, be helping. her hair looks beautiful. I'm determined to not cheat. I'm going to do this myself until I can't. She's basically gonna be doing like the back section, um, the places I can't reach because otherwise it's gonna look like a sloppy paint job. I'm so happy he has somebody to help him with the back of his head. I was like, Hi, Rob. Do you think you'll be able to do the back of your head? And he's like, well, uh, my assistant's actually sort of a hairstylist, so. I was like, yes, that'll be great. Let's have her watch you throughout this entire process because I don't want a hair disaster on my hands. These hands are clean. I use plenty of Purell and I don't want a mess on these babies. Hi, Hiram. So Hi, I am going to teach you how to bleach your hair yourself. And you're also going to color it purple. <laughs> I am slightly concerned. <laughs> Why am I letting me you do too, this? Me too, bitch. Well, yeah. <laughs> because you live nowhere near me and it will be fun to watch, I feel like. And your hair is very short, so I feel like this will be fine. <laughs> <laughs> me laughing at myself. I was really nervous while filming that. I'm like, mm isn't the best idea. And I was like, well, too late now. Let's just keep going with it. Okay, so he said mix the, the powder with the lightener until it's like a cream consistency. Okay, <laughs> so I believe I'm mixing this. Yes, powder, great. With the Matrix 30 Volume Cream Developer. Perfect. We love this. So here's my bowl and I'm gonna do three scoops to three ounces of cream developer. Wait, I love that he's measuring everything out. We love that. I mean, listen, it's not like I measure everything out every time, but at least I know what I'm looking for. When you have no experience doing hair, I'd recommend just following the directions. Let's start there, you know? Learn the rules and then you can break them later. We're off to a great start. I feel so good about this. I legit feel like I'm making cock. All he did was measure a developer and I feel really good about this. That's my expectations today. Those are how low they are smell oh. don't smell it it's honestly looking like the forbidden pudding like i would eat this oh yeah I've ate it. Oh, like death five times over. You guys know the one thing that I find from all these bleach pill videos is that nobody puts enough lightener on their hair. It looks dry when they put it on. So I made sure to tell Hiram, you need to put so much lightener on your hair that it's like frosting. And hopefully he does that. What I'm thinking of doing is putting the conditioner on now so that I can just 
go right into bleaching the other parts of my head. I can just bleach everything at the same time. So I also mentioned to him to put a little bit of conditioner on his ends just to protect them from the overlapping of the bleach because his ends are still so white from the last time I bleached them. If he pushes them any farther, they will snap off and he will have breakage. So hopefully that doesn't happen. That's gonna be the hard part is doing that top half of his hair. Manually apply it. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Hiram, come on, we haven't even started yet. You can put conditioner on your ends. Like, let's get it, do it. Great job, that looks perfect. See how white those ends are? Like, let's not touch those. Does it look good to y'all? I think it looks great. No, I'm gonna do the sides myself. I am gonna have Rihanna help me with the back. Okay, I have this little tool which has this like stabber thing on the back. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna dip in. Let's see oh, how good his technique cool. is. And he said to really make sure that it's covered, caked on. Come on! I'm so scared! <laughs> Don't be, it'll be fine. Fry my hair off and I'm gonna be bald. And you know what? I do not have the type of head that works for bald people. <laughs> you have a beautiful head, Hiram. Slenderman. Woo! Here we go. Ooh, okay. Love that he's holding the brush very close to the tip. That way he gets good pressure on his hair and he really pushes that bleach in. Chemical burn? You could possibly. So let me know if it starts to burn because we're not. Okay, so I just figured out that I might get chemical burn by using this stuff, which you guys know how much I love chemical burn, like total skincare hack. You won't get burned, I swear. It'll, you'll be fine. Maybe one person in my entire life I've seen get burned from bleach and that's because they had their head bleached like four times in a row. You'll be fine. I think I also mentioned not to wash your hair the day of. That's so important, you guys. If you're gonna bleach your hair, don't wash the day of. Please, at least wait like three days, then bleach it or else you're gonna have no oils to protect your skin scalp and that's like scary oh beautiful job though honestly like this is exactly how i would do his hair the reason why i told him to start on the sides and not the top is because those parts tend to actually not lighten as fast when i was bleaching my hair every day of my life i found that bleaching the sides before the top always made it so that the entire thing was evenly white blonde it's also the easiest thing to knock out first it's just like one and done really short you don't have to section anything just go on there especially with his length of hair so tell me brad how are you? How are you doing? I'm good. It's all the kids are good. On all of your latest launches. If you guys haven't tried Ex Mondo, the Glitterati Serum and the BDSM Balm. I, I really like the BDSM Balm. That one is so good, especially if you have colored hair. It just adds like this iridescence that's so pretty. Thanks for the ex-mondo shout out, Hiram. I appreciate it. And something is really funny about you saying BDSM bomb. <laughs> yes, my hair product is called BDSM because over here we love chains and whips, okay? <laughs> we like to get freaky with our hair. But uh, yes, I appreciate that. My baby Saya is doing amazing and I hope everything is well with you too. I know you have so many things going on and congrats on all your insane success. 3.1 million subscribers. You're a Rockstar. Okay, so this looks amazing. I'm so happy with what's going on and I'm glad he has somebody there to help him. Let's divide it down the middle. Now we're dividing. I'm so happy he followed that direction. Yo, can we just talk real quick about how I made his hair so damn white the last time I did it? Because look at those ends, girl. They're still pure white. I did his hair like four or five months ago, six months ago even. It was a long time ago. Gotta move fast. Okay. Ah! Ah! <laughs> My hair's e. Oh, and we're going in the midsection first. I love that. Okay. I don't think I specified to do the midsection first. That's just like a lot of work for this length of hair. But if you want to take that extra step, Hiram, and do the midsections first, that's totally cool because the midsections will process slower than the roots because why, guys? You get heat from your scalp and that's what processes the color faster. So, cool. I mean, taking an extra step that I didn't even ask for because Hiram is such a professional colorist at this point. We're not quite sectioning. <laughs> I guess I should have been more clear with my instructions. However, I did specify starting in the front and working your way back or in the back working your way forward. So it meant like horizontal sections going back, not taking slices this way. But this is another way of doing it. I just think my way would have been easier. Hi, rum. If you listened next time, okay? You know, those ends are sitting in that bleach, which really frightens me. Please tell me you're not gonna fry those ends off. Let's not have the video end that way. Ah, uh, what are we doing? 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 Yeah, okay. 
No, sure. This is definitely one way of doing things. Hyrule, what is going on with this sectioning? What is that? And you're just kind of like going in and just hoping that everything gets covered. Thank God you have somebody there to help because this might have not turned out cute. Hopefully it did turn out cute. I actually have no idea if it did turn out cute. At least he's trying. A for effort. As good as it's gonna get. Oh no. Are we gonna leave it like so that? Hard, Brad. I have so much respect for you because, oh my god, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. No, you don't. <laughs> you knew that. Okay, I think we fixed it. I mean, I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> You know what? It looks good. So there's like this one spot right there. But honestly, I am so grateful that the rest of it looks good. I partially would love to leave my hair like this. Thank God we're doing purple because you guys, purple and yellow are across from each other on the color wheel. So purple cancels out yellow. When he uses a deep purple, it's gonna cancel out all those yellow tones, luckily. And the worst that could happen is that it turns out more of a gray tone, like a slate gray, which I think he'd be fine with and I'm fine with. It's the worst that could happen. At least we made it this far and it's at least bleached and he only missed like one little spot. It was a big spot. It wasn't that little, honestly. Yeah, it could have been worse. Let's see if he bleaches it again. He might just do that because I did recommend that in my video. I'm still gonna go through with purple. What I'm thinking of doing is that I have two different purples. I have a dark one and a lighter one. So I'm thinking of doing dark on the sides and then a lighter kind of on the top. Now, normally this would sound way too complicated for my to do. However, with purple, I think you can be kind of messy. I think we'll be okay. You can honestly just apply with your hands. Get it on there really, really fast. This will start processing immediately. Okay. It is semi-permanent color. It doesn't need to be on your head for a very long time. And okay. I would also recommend taking a fine tooth comb and combing it all through. That way it gets on every single hair strand. Okay. So you guys, over the years, I know I've sort of adjusted my views of coloring your hair at home. And I actually am not that much of a hater of coloring your hair at home anymore um, for many reasons. But one thing that I have been recommending to Hiram throughout this entire video is using your hands. I think your hands are a great tool to do hair with. You don't always need to use a brush and I don't always use a brush when I'm doing hair either. I think brushes are great and they're great for a lot of things, but things like semi-permanent color, you by no means have to use a brush. It honestly just makes things harder a lot of the time as long as you're making sure you get that color on every hair strand brushes are just like not really that necessary but if that's what you're comfortable with totally use it if not hands are totally fine these babies are made for so many things and they're amazing dark one here in a bowl to start applying i'm also going to take this which is a lip mask and apply it to my forehead and my ears good idea go look at this i know this would stain everything this is gonna stain this out of you. Even the last night to Hiram's hair, it stained him so bad. He's on the fair side. Wow, looking at him and looking at me at the same time. I look really dark. <laughs> this is gonna be so good to go over that yellow. <gasps> Yo, it's so dark. Oh, satisfying. Oh my God. It's like paint stroke. Damn. It's gonna be a dark purple moment. And I'm so happy about it. Thank God he didn't choose a pastel. I would have been like, <gasps> That's not gonna work, that's not gonna work. Oh, and the precision on that hairline, he was going right up to the edge, but not on his skin. I already feel like this is going to just be a great job. When he reached out to me when I was a lot smaller of a creator, I think I had like, it might have even been before 100,000, but he's always been so kind to me, which is really cool because I think when it comes to like YouTube creators and influencers and all that kind of stuff, I feel like I'm so tucked away from everything here in Hawaii. So I don't really know like what the scene is and you hear things and you, you know, you never know like how people are, the way that they act and stuff like that. And I can genuinely say he's such a nice person. I mean, obviously he's collaborating with me, which is a charity case. Hiram is the sweetest person also. And how dare you call yourself a charity case, okay? Who are you? Like, stop. You're literally killing it, Hiram. Don't ever call yourself that again, please. And Hiram is also the sweetest person ever. And I, you know, I always say I'm in my little bubble here in New York also. And I love helping small creators. Not that he's at all a small creator anymore. I'm so happy that a person who's as positive as Hiram and happy and nice is as successful as he is now because it just goes to show you that to be a YouTuber, you don't need to start drama every second of your life and be awful and negative and do horrible things to become popular. Like you can actually do it while being nice still. And he goes to show you just that. So I'm just doing the lighter color really randomly on the lighter pieces. <laughs> um, just to give it a little bit more pop of, you know, color and some variance between the two colors. <laughs> Look at me talking like <laughs> 
I'm glad that he's using a lighter color on his ends because they are so white. They're gonna pick up that darker color, a lot darker than the yellow parts are because they are more porous. I would have recommend doing the roots first and then doing the ends after. I should have specified that if you were gonna use two colors. I wasn't aware of that. Hi, rum. This is definitely one way of doing it. You know, you're making all this much harder for yourself, I have to say. Next time we do this, we're gonna have to do like a Zoom call or something, or you're gonna have to come back to New York, or I have to go to Hawaii. I'm coming for you. Okay, we're making our way around and <laughs> just put it on your hands and get it on, Hiram, come on. We gotta get this on faster. Taking too much time with this is gonna make the color very uneven, so let's go. He's doing a very precise job, which I appreciate, but it needs to go faster, my friend. That wasn't too difficult. I think Brianna is just gonna touch up the back because I can't reach that and I don't wanna be like slapping purple paint all over my neck. Yes, we're combing it through. Thank God, I was hoping he would do that. Otherwise, he might have missed some spots and it would be patchy and just yeah. Quick. I just noticed something. He's doing this without even having like a towel on his shoulders or anything. He's just wearing his shirt, his iconic blue shirt <laughs> and nothing around his shoulders. Like, okay, risky. We love that. <laughs> and I'm surprised he didn't get anything on his shirt, honestly. We're gonna wait 20 minutes. And hopefully finish up soon because it's almost dark. <laughs> I did not expect it to take this long. We were like, oh, it'll probably take like two hours. And then it's like, what, four hours later, I think. Karim, you thought it was gonna take two hours? Remember last time I did your hair? I was like, you're gonna be here all day. And then I pulled out my hairstylist friend, Cassidy, and she slayed with me and we got it done in like literally an hour and 30 minutes and you made your flight. <laughs> yeah, you remember that? <laughs> all right, are we ready? ready? We're doing it, we're doing it. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh my god! <laughs> what do we think? What do we think? Yeah! I can rush you down. Yo, you look amazing. Like, it turned out a million times better than I thought it was going to because I was fully anticipating this look. <sighs> yeah, what I envisioned was not good. I completely thought there was going to be bleach spots without any purple. I thought there was going to be spots where. I'm so happy! natural hair color, which, you know, could be in there, but thankfully the purple disguises that. I did not expect it to stain my scalp as much as it has, but you know what? I'm not mad at it. Oh my God, you're not mad at it? It looks perfect. You did such an amazing job. I actually can't believe it came out this good. And by the way, when this fades, it's gonna be even prettier and prettier, and it's gonna get that beautiful lavender tint to it. I love dyeing hair a darker version of purple first, because then when you wash it, it becomes like all different tones and you get to have longevity with it. When you do like pastels, it just like automatically washes out and it's kind of like, okay, cool, but only for like two seconds. It truly is an experience that needs to be hands-on for you to really understand. And I completely understand now that I should never be a hairdresser ever and that God did not bless me with that talent. But I am so, so, so excited to see what your reactions are going to be, Brad. I cannot wait to see <laughs> specifically what your reaction is going to be. But you know, the final result turned out okay. I'm definitely happy with it. And I truly think there's nothing more I could ask for. But I hope you guys like it because I kind of like it. I think it's cool. Hiram, <laughs> I mean, maybe you should stick to skincare. I think that's where you're, <laughs> I think that's your strong suit. Leave hair care up to me and you know, you can have the skincare part. <laughs> okay, honestly, he did a fabulous job. I'm so happy. And above all, I'm happy that he's happy and that he feels beautiful because that is the most important thing of all. And if you guys want amazing skincare tips and literally basically everything skincare related, please go visit his channel. He is amazing, super funny, super nice, super happy all the time and produces so much content, you'll never be bored. <laughs> and his channel will be linked below. All right, you guys, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon to get notified every time I post a new video. Make sure you follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles. Check out my hair care line, Xmondo Hair at xmondohair.com or on Instagram at xmondohair. And here is my number. Please text me. I will have a conversation with some of you guys personally. You'll also be notified every time I post a new video or a photo or anything big happens in my life. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Charlotte Koki and this is her Instagram handle and a photo of her. Charlotte said that she has dyed her hair black four times and bleached it blonde twice. Oh, whoa, girl. My natural hair is really light brown. My hair has a very orange and red undertone. I just really wanna change my hair, so what do you think I should do? Well, Charlotte, I don't know why, but I'm getting a very clear image of you having dark purple hair and it may be because of Hiram's video, but purple would definitely look stunning on you and your skin tone. And if you don't wanna do purple and you wanna do something more mainstream and a little more normal, maybe just highlight it heavily
heavily and do really beautiful balayage hair painting, that will look so stunning on you. By the way, I love your natural hair color also. And that's my hair recommendation for you, Charlotte. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to live your extra life. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.